The territory on the border between eastern Burkina Faso and northern Togo is covered by savannas. Over time, this pastoral area has represented a privileged place of transit for transhumance herders. For some years now, this territory has been experiencing unbalanced development. In the West, high demographic growth and the increased trade along the international road have led to the expansion of villages and agricultural land at the expense of transhumance routes and natural areas. The latter, also limited by classified forests in the extreme east of the territory, have been significantly reduced. In addition to the imbalance between the West and the East, which suffers from a lack of health and education infrastructure, there is a strong climate of insecurity with recurrent armed attacks in Burkina Faso, sometimes close to the border. These imbalances and tensions raise questions about the future of the territory and of transhumans. Ideal. The area is highly fertile. The population lives in harmony with natural resources, which are well conserved and exploited through sustainable practices. Transhumant herders and farmers interact with each other. Pastoral infrastructures are in place, including water troughs, boreholes, transhumant corridors, and significant trade takes place on both sides of the peaceful border. Oasis in the desert. The landscape has become arid. Pastoral farming has become the main activity and structures livelihoods in the area. Decentralized governance and fruitful cross-border cooperation enable the development of pastoral infrastructure such as livestock markets, storage for feed and veterinary products. This facilitates the mobility of livestock to oasis points in a secure context. Farmers have many interactions with pastoralists and practice a subsistence farming through adopting Sahelian techniques including Zai and Half Moon. Transhumance delivers manifold benefits to the economy, agriculture, trade, taxes, contributing to the reduction of poverty in the territory. Limited hope. The territory is characterized by strong pressure of agricultural activities on natural ecosystems, resulting in an ecological imbalance. A small share of the population exploits and profits from mining resources disregarding environmental rules. However, despite a repressive central power and the lack of basic social services, dynamic and effective cross-border cooperation is developing. It allows for peaceful transhumans based on good collaboration between farmers and pastoralists and on fruitful trade on both sides of the border. Local crisis. The territory is controlled by extremists who maintain a situation of conflicts between communities in the broader cross-border region. The drastic reduction of natural ecosystems and the poisoning of water sources have decimated the herd size of transhumans herders. High human mortality is leading to a sharp decline in the population. A wall separates Togo and Burkina Faso, preventing any trade between the two countries. Mining resources are exploited in an anarchic manner with an increase in artisanal sites under dismal labor conditions. Transhumans in spite of everything. In the territory, there is no cooperation on either side of the border. The decisions are made in states' capitals. Strong pressure from agricultural and pastoral activities has led to a significant decline in natural resources. Transhumans then becomes an essential activity to feed people and facilitate trade. Yet, 
transhumant herders are seen as foreigners and criminals. All the scenarios we have seen may occur. It is now up to us to work together to make concrete proposals to our decision makers. Through a holistic understanding of the territory, we can move towards cross-border local development and achieve the objective of efficient territorial governance in order to live in harmony. It is up to us to design the path toward the future we want. Thank you.